There are actually essential functions of human sexuality intrinsic to the foreskin, which is why it has evolved to be part of our reproductive organ. Now, these sensitivity diagrams are great, but what is the foreskin? Like, really, what is it? Now, this is a great question. I had no idea for two decades. And medical professionals are by no stretch of the imagination exempt from this blaring gap in medical knowledge. I, I have had to educate prestigious surgeons on basic penile anatomy and function. So let me clear up the misconceptions. The average male foreskin on the adult male is 12 to 15 square inches. The average adult foreskin. Now it may not surprise you at this point, but I actually happen to have one here with me. Uh, no, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not getting paid enough. I keep my foreskin where all normal people keep them. In my pocket. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the size of the average male foreskin. Mine would be much bigger. <laughs> Now, this foreskin sculpture was created only a few years ago by the brilliant artist Vincenzo Aiello, who is actually joining us here today. It's called Hufo, Human Foreskin, a hyper-realistic art sculpture. Now, if we take a look at how it actually works on an anatomical level, what we can see is the foreskin is composed of four major parts. So we have the outer foreskin, which is just a continuation of the shaft skin, which keeps the glands sensitive throughout life. We have the inner foreskin, similar to the intermucosal tissue of your mouth or the female genitalia. We have the frenulum, which is a highly erogenous tethering structure, which anchors a moving body part, the foreskin, to a non-moving body part, the shaft. And then we have the ridged band, also known as the lips of the foreskin. Because like the lips of the face, the lips of the foreskin provide transition from skin to inner mucosa. And like the lips of the face, the lips of the foreskin are densely innervated with approximately 10 to 20,000 fine touch nerve endings, also making this known as the male G-spot. Ever wonder why ribbed condoms exist? They are trying to recreate what every man comes with standard issue. I realize how this is not immediately obvious, how this butterfly shape is a foreskin. So if we take a look at this composite, what we can see is that the foreskin is a bilayer tissue that wraps around the head of a circumcised penis until we have what we would recognized as an uncircumcised or intact penis. Now, these are just a snapshot of the functions of the foreskin. I have actually compiled a comprehensive list, if you can believe. And I have broken them down into sexual, protective, and other functions. See, women are meant to be stimulated by the non-abrasive pressure of the male's erectile bodies sliding in and out of the foreskin. Think of a motion of putting your fingers on your cheeks and going like this. They are not meant to be stimulated by the friction of an immobile, unlubricated, circumcised penis, which has never and will never exist in nature. Think of a shaping motion like this. Very different from this. You can try yourself if you like. <laughs> now, removing this tissue permanently and drastically alters the mechanics of intercourse which can manifest itself in sexual pain and or dysfunction for both partners, the effects of which are increasingly pronounced as the circumcised male ages. 